Um, so I haven't drank in eight months, right? What are you smoking? <laughs> Better than me, right? Yeah. Uh, it's led me to a very bittersweet epiphany, though. I, uh, turns out that drugs and alcohol haven't been holding me back. <laughs> it's kind of like hard to find hobbies when you just don't care about anything. Right? Sometimes I worry I'll never be able to care again, but even that I'm not too concerned about. When I was younger, I used to smoke weed all the time. Uh, it gives you the illusion that you're doing something. <laughs> now that I'm in my 30s, though, it makes me painfully aware that I'm not doing anything. I used to be pretty undiscerning when it came to my drug use. I would draw the line with aluminum in my deodorant, though. I always rinse in my strawberries, also. Like, now I got a clear head to do nothing with. So, uh, as far as I can tell, like, life's just killing time before you die. I, uh, I started going to the gym. I, I love uh, running in calisthenics. Because I'd like to be able to cowardly parkour away from an active shooter. <laughs> My two favorite hobbies are arguing and complaining. <laughs> Most of all, I like to argue that I'm not complaining. <laughs> there was a time in my life I was looking for structure, so I thought about joining the military, but I'm nonviolent. I thought about the Coast Guard, but the water's too cold. <laughs> Settled on dating teachers. <laughs> Invariably, I exhaust their patience and they break up with me. But it's like, I don't know if that's a reflection on me or their inability to teach. <laughs> I don't learn anything. It's like, now I have a wife uh, to do a bunch of stuff I don't care about, but, right? Uh, I'm surprised I'm married. I don't wear my wedding ring because I don't like to disappoint strangers. <laughs> I'm always thinking about other people. I'm a very generous person. I'll give you the shirt off of my back. But it comes with a Wallace-sized photo of me wearing the shirt. So you remember where you got that shirt from. <laughs> I don't believe in being an unsung hero either. My life has like recently become just refilling the humidifier. Apparently that's, that's what I do all day. And uh, sometimes my wife doesn't notice, so I'll have to like bring it up casually. It's just like 40% relative humidity, right? Mm. It's comfortable in here, it's nice. <laughs> Whenever I, I leave the house, my wife says, uh, you should say hi to them for me. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Probably not even gonna say hi myself. In fact, if anybody says Jan says hi, don't believe them. I would never do that. Except no substitute for the real thing. Uh, I have a hard time like deciding whether I'm awkward or I'm unfriendly people. Because right? it's like the more people I meet, the unfriendlier I become. Uh, it's just like hard to gauge how long-winded somebody's going to be before you start a conversation with them. Like a couple of days ago, I was at a bar and this guy had a black eye. And I really wanted to know how he got it. But the thing is, it's like someone with a black eye obviously talks too much. <laughs> Like even I was at my friend's house recently. He had all these crystals over here, like uh, quartz and amethyst and some other crystal. And as I was leaving, he was like, "How come you didn't ask me about the crystals? You didn't notice the crystals?" I absolutely noticed the crystals. <laughs> the only thing I noticed, but I'm not, not trying to have a conversation with somebody who's got so many crystals. <laughs> I was at a restaurant recently with my wife, and this guy was eating with an overhand grip. Right. At first, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, like maybe he's got bonus going there, that's right. It was like after half an hour of observation, I concluded it's not the case. My wife was getting upset. She's like, who cares about this guy? You're at dinner with me. But the thing is, like, watching this person eat, that's an ephemeral moment. I have my whole life to criticize the way my wife eats. <laughs> By the time that joke, she gets uh, upset, you know? Like, when she gets upset, I gotta get her flowers. I think she's like, she never bought me flowers once. I like flowers. But what I do now is I just buy flowers for myself, and she's free to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> buy flowers. <laughs> My wife gets upset when I call her you. It's like, there's only two of us here. Who else would I be talking to? <laughs> 
It's like I'm bad with names in general, but I, I think that they're archaic, right? It should be obviously apparent if I'm addressing you, and it's rude to gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I hate gossiping. The thing is, it's like I have hard enough time gaining interest in the person I'm speaking to directly. Like, I don't need to introduce a third party into this conversation. So I, <laughs> not do that. I live with my wife and two cats, right? And, uh, yeah, it's cool. But we got this strict social hierarchy at home where I'm the alpha, clearly, right? <laughs> <laughs> then it goes my cat, and then her and her cat uh, jockey for third place. These, my cat always bosses the two of them around, but I figured it'd be very hypocritical for me to judge them, uh, to punish him for being a bad boy. Right? <laughs> I realize I don't have enough mass to cross my arms, I just hug my body. <laughs> not, uh, not menacing at all. I'm, I'm very empathetic to the plight of women. I'm, uh, constantly being approached by guys I don't want to talk to. <laughs> I, mean, I want everyone to have a good life. I just don't want to be involved. <laughs> Today's actually my birthday, my 35th birthday, right? So I've spent the last 35 years coasting through life on good looks and charm as I come to terms with my own greatness, right? You know, people think it's like bad to think highly of yourself, but I do, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. So. <laughs> After being married for so long, it's like, I don't need to impress my wife anymore. Fortunately, I'm just an impressive person, right? Uh, for her. And I used to hate celebrating my birthday, but it's like, that's so, so, so selfish of me. You gotta like, let the people you love celebrate you, right? So I told my wife I'm leaving and I, I came here. So <laughs> I'll let you celebrate me. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lot of things to a lot of people, right? To my parents, I'm a disappointment. My friends, I'm unreliable. To my wife, I'm emotionally unavailable. But strangers think I'm pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I value their opinion more than that of my friends and family. <laughs>